Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. And today we got another wave of leaked information coming in for Call of Duty World War II. Now today I really only want to cover the rank play part because we really haven't had hardly any information regarding it besides that it's going to be in the game. But in the recent leaks over on Reddit, there is a ton of information regarding supply jobs, headquarters, and really just a lot of multiplayer information. So if you guys want to go check that out, feel free to click the link in the bottom of this video. Uh, but again, I really only want to cover rank play for right now. And judging from the recent esports trends in the COD scene alone, I'm predicting that Call of Duty World War II will bring in a lot more growth to the competitive side of Call of Duty. Because for one, there's an option inside the headquarters that lets you watch competitive esports events such as MOG Dallas, for example. And the cool thing about this is you could watch it with all your friends inside the headquarters. So that is definitely very, very innovative. We really haven't had anything like that before. And it'd be pretty cool if you and your friends could possibly earn maybe a supply drop or maybe gain a bit of XP just for watching an esports event together because it really does seem like Sledgehammer is focusing on party play for this year's Call of Duty game. Now guys, according to the leak in rank play, the game modes and the maps are Arden Forest S&D, Arden Forest CTF, Arden Forest Hardpoint, Gibraltar S&D, Gibraltar Hardpoint, Sante Marie de Mont Search and Destroy, and then I'm not even going to pronounce the uh, the map for the rest of the game modes here, but we have that same map for CTF, Hardpoint, and then Flak Tower for Capture the Flag. So again guys, these are are the four maps that are going to be in in uh, World War II multiplayer rank play and then uh, I do believe that these maps and game modes are possibly going to be changing up soon because once the meta finally comes out for this game they are possibly going to be adding uh, a lot more maps maybe switching out with uh, with a few now guys of course with any competitive game mode there is going to be a temporary ban system for players that are going to be leaving in the game and of course that is going to be for this year's Call of Duty game but uh, for the matchup there is going to be a type of skill rating it's kind of similar to the overwatch system and that is basically based on your skill rating like how good you are as a player and then if you win or lose in the game so like personal skill that's how good you are with your gun your accuracy uh, how many kills you get in the game how many deaths you get in the game that's basically what it means by personal skill and then of course if you win or lose the game so it's gonna be a mix of that and based on the little uh, mixing system of the win loss and personal skill that's how it's gonna place you in uh, the little leaderboard system for rank play so we really don't have any information if you can customize a emblem your team name that kind of stuff I really do hope you can I really do hope that the rank play is kind of similar to black ops 2 because uh, league play in that game was just so much fun I, I do remember having so much fun grinding uh, league play with my friends and uh, the leaderboard system was just perfect for that game so hopefully it's gonna be returning for Call of Duty World War 2 but again guys there is a lot more information about World War 2 multiplayer so if you guys want to go check it out it's gonna be linked in the bottom of this video so tell me your thoughts about this in the comment section down below i am really really hyped for rank play in this game again i do feel that uh, there is going to be a whole new light shed onto the competitive scene for call of duty and i can't wait to find out how it's going to be played for call of duty world war 2 so again guys tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below also drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching i'm a very tough aggressive of the day until next time i'll see you guys later